Hello friends, my name is Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! Welcome to another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy where I hope you're able to climb that ladder and successfully cash in with the overall top score at the end of this game because, well, I believe in you. And I believe in Joe Hendry. On that note, let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with Money in the Bank Cash In Attempts, followed by Money in the Bank Fun Facts, and then Money in the Bank Losers, Miss Money in the Bank, and last but certainly not least, Whose Money in the Bank Briefcase is it anyway who, 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 who. if you've been playing wrestling jeopardy for the past couple of months well you know what the deal is however if you're a newbie check out the not so extreme rules which are on your screen right now and these are just basic guidelines so that you understand exactly how to play this interactive play along trivia competition where you're the contestant money in the bank let's cash in all right so let's kick things off with cash in attempts for 200 Damian Priest took full advantage of this wrestler's post-match attack on Drew McIntyre to successfully cash in his Money in the Bank contract at WrestleMania 40. Love him or hate him, the answer is the controversial and polarizing who is CM Punk. We're on to fun facts for two. As of July 2024, the aforementioned CM Punk remains the only WWE superstar to be a multiple-time Money in the Bank ladder match winner, winning the briefcase in back-to-back -back years at this premium live event. And the correct answer, what is the showcase of the immortals, the granddaddy of them all, the show of shows. WrestleMania! And that brings us to Lehu Zahers for 200. The fact that this wrestler has competed in the most Money in the Bank ladder matches at eight without securing a victory is Jamaican me crazy. All right, I really don't think that uh, Kofi Kingston is a loser, but unfortunately, when it comes to Money in the Bank matches, he just can't win one. Denied. Moving on to Miss Money in the Bank for two. This Japanese superstar was the first wrestler to win both the Women's Royal Rumble and also the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. The correct answer is the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And let's finish up the 200 point round with whose Money in the Bank briefcase is it anyway? And this one was fairly easy. I mean, RVD doesn't stand for uh, Richard Van Dyke. Common knowledge. It stands for the whole effing show, who is Rob Van Dam? And let's move on to the 400 point round, starting it off with cash in attempts. After Mark Henry laid out the big show following a grueling chairs match at WWE TLC 2011, this wrestler said yes to cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase to win the World Heavyweight Championship. And the correct answer, who is Daniel Bryan? Moving on to fun facts for four. At 280 days, this wrestler held his men's Money in the Bank contract the longest until Damien Priest cashed his in at 281 days in 2024. And the answer here brings us back all the way to the first Money in the Bank winner, the rated R superstar. We're on to losers for 400. Austin Theory made the bold decision to cash in his Money in the Bank contract for this mid-card title, but couldn't get the job done against Seth Rollins. Uh -oh. 
Now, Theory would win this belt uh, a few weeks later when he beat uh, Rollins and Bobby Lashley in a triple threat match. But the answer we're looking for here is the United States title. Which brings us to Miss Money in the Bank for four. With the London crowd firmly behind her, this genius of the sky was able to handcuff Bailey and Becky Lynch together, climb the ladder, and become the 2023 Miss Money in the Bank. And the answer here is EO Sky. All right, let's close out the 400 point round with whose Money in the Bank briefcase is it anyway? And that would be Damian Priest. All right, time to check in. How you doing so far? That's 10 questions down, 15 to go. Hopefully you're having as much fun as I am. And if you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ringy dingy notification icon bell so you get notified whenever we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. Hooray! Kicking off the 600 point round with Money in the Bank cash in attempts. The Miz has successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank contract twice. The first against this wrestler in 2010. The second time the A-lister uh, cashed in his contract was against Drew McIntyre in 2021, but he officially popped his Money in the Bank cherry back in 2010 against Randy Orton. Let's head on over to Fun Facts for six. This wrestler first introduced the idea of the Money in the Bank ladder match in the weeks leading up to WrestleMania 21. It really must be something to be able to sit at the foot of that learning tree. The correct answer, who is Chris Jericho? Hi, guys! And we're on to losers for six. Thanks to a distraction from John Cena, this wrestler unsuccessfully cashed in on Jinder Mahal during an episode of SmackDown Live in 2017. You can't hinder gender, and neither could the correct answer. Who was Baron Corbin? Brings us to Miss Money in the Bank for 600. Technically speaking, I, I guess you could say that this wrestler is a two-time Women's Money in the Bank winner. And the answer, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Closing out the 600 point round with whose Money in the Bank briefcase is it anyway? And that would be the briefcase of the intellectual savior of the unwashed masses. Who is Damien Sandow? 15 questions down, 10 to go, plus Final Jeopardy, and that Daily Double is floating around. Let's kick off the 800-point round with Money in the Bank cash in attempts. I don't believe it. How? That's amazing. I just said it and it appeared, just like Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. The category, Money in the Bank cash in attempts. Think about how much you know about good and bad attempts and then place your wager now. All right, time is up. Let's go to the clue. In 2006, Rob Van Dam simply wanted a fair title shot. So he challenged John Cena to a WWE Championship match at ECW One Night Stand at this famous New York City ballroom. And the answer, what is the Hammerstein Ballroom? Aww. Brings us to fun facts for eight. John Cena, Seth Rollins, and this wrestler have been cashed on by a Money in the Bank holder three times more than any other superstar in history. And the correct answer here, who is the queen? Charlotte Flair. Losers for eight. 
After winning the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 23, this wrestler was forced to give up his guaranteed title shot just a month later after losing a match to... Talk about some bad luck for Mr. Kennedy, who is the correct answer. Kennedy! We're on to Miss Money in the Bank for eight. This superstar used Christian's one-legged balancing act maneuver from WrestleMania 25 to propel her to victory. And that would be who is Liv Morgan. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, let's close up the 800 point round. Whose Money in the Bank briefcase is it anyway? I mean, technically it's not even a briefcase. It's more like a lunch pail. But the correct answer here, who is Otis? You know it, Lynn Daddy. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. oh, it's just a little bit of hard salami. And we've reached that time, the most difficult round in Wrestling Jeopardy. The steel cage begins to lower, the ominous music starts to play. Get your thinking caps on as we got five more regular questions left. Let's go back to Money in the Bank. Cash in attempts for a thousand. At WrestleMania 31, Seth Rollins pulled off what came to be known as this phrase. So when Seth cashed in his contract on Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar in the main event, it became to be known as Rollins with the heist of the century! Brilliant! Brings us to fun facts for a thousand. As of July 2024, this wrestler has the distinct record of holding the Money in the Bank briefcase for the least amount of time before cashing in. After holding the briefcase for only 49 minutes, the big red machine Kane cashed in on Rey Mysterio, dethroning the masked star of his coveted world title. And we're finishing off Money in the Bank losers for a thousand. According to reports, the original plan in 2019 was for this wrestler to win the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. However, Rock Lesnar surprised everyone and grabbed the briefcase instead. No wonder this dude wanted retribution. And the correct answer, who is Mustafa Ali? Finishing up Miss Money in the Bank for a thousand. This caped competitor may not have been faster than a speeding bullet, but she literally climbed over her competition in 2021 to become Miss Money in the Bank. And the correct answer here is Nikki A.S.H. And let's finish up the regular Jeopardy round. The final clue, whose Money in the Bank briefcase is it anyway? Who doesn't love a good Brock party? The correct answer here, who is Brock Lesnar? <laughs> and that brings us to final Jeopardy. Start tallying up your points and hopefully your score will take you to the bank if you know what I'm talking about. But first, let's find out that final Jeopardy category, which is... Oh, here comes the money, Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon has had a brilliant career in the wrestling business and while he's never been a technician inside the ring, He's created some moments that will stand the test of time. So think about how well you know Shane O'Mac and place your final Jeopardy wager now. All right, time is up. Let's go to the final Jeopardy clue. In the summer of 1998, WWE added this new television show to their weekend programming lineup which featured Shane on commentary for the first 13 episodes. Good luck. Bum, 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 bum. 
boom. In the summer of 1998, WWE added this new television show to their weekend programming lineup, which featured Shane on commentary for the first 13 episodes. Now this show's format featured matches and interviews and stuff, but it's mainly known for its preview of Sunday night pay-per-views. The correct answer, what is Sunday night heat? And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.